so much they need to learn to save us from disasters. There isn't one appliance that they don't know about. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The iron. All done. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Professor Eugenia! Mm -hmm. Yes, Elisa? The award ceremony's in an hour. You need to leave soon. I remember, Elisa. What are you getting an award for? It's the... <laughs> it's the genius of the year. Not too modest, but fair. <laughs> and well-deserved. Wow. And they're giving it to you? Well, yeah. Will they show it on TV? <laughs> Why, of course. Class. And during your speech, can you say hi to me? And me, and me. And Sipka. Right. Say something like this. I'd like to send a big shout-out to all my Fixie friends. Oh, that's a great idea. That way, everyone can know about Fixies. Professor Eugenius, didn't I see an iron in here earlier? Hmm? Huh? Oh! Oh, come on, Elisa. There's no need for that. I'm not going to argue with you. You have to look just perfect. Otherwise, everybody is going to think that I don't take care of you. First, we'll let the iron warm up, and then I can iron your suit. The most essential part of an electric iron is called the heating coil. It's hidden inside the iron sole plate. When the iron is plugged into an electrical outlet, the coil gets hot and heats up the sole. People use a hot iron to remove the wrinkles from their clothing. Irons also have a water container. When the water gets hot, it turns into steam. The steam comes out through the holes in the iron sole, making it even easier to remove wrinkles. Wow, that sure is hot. All that's left to do is pour some water into it. Professor, this is water, right? Yeah, yeah, it's water. That isn't water. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. It's not water, it's not water. Then what is it? Well, it's, uh, juice. Juice? Yeah, juice. Oh, no, the poor iron won't last. Phew, and it smells like crud. I broke the iron, it's awful. No, 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 Elisa, don't be so upset. Don't be so upset. It's the genius of the year ceremony, and you'll be in a wrinkled suit in front of the whole country. Oh, I won't survive. <laughs> Uh, Elisa, hang in there. Be careful. Elisa. Elisa. Professor Eugenius, are you all right? Oh, couldn't be any better. We're going to go fix that iron for you. And while we're doing that, you go fix Elisa. That would be great. <gasps> Look over there. I'll fix the contact. You and Nola can scrape that burnt juice off the iron. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Elisa, Elisa, please wake up. Uh... We did it. Your iron is fixed. Elisa, you should see the iron. It's working. What? And I'm just lying around here? I have to hurry. Where's the iron and your suit? Wrinkled clothing is not very beautiful. And that's why since ancient times, people have been trying to find different ways to get rid of wrinkles. For example, long ago, people would put their wrinkled clothing under a heavy, flat rock. In ancient Rome, people used to beat their crinkled garments with a metal hammer. And in China, fabric was ironed with hot frying pans. Irons with a shape like what is used today appeared during the Middle Ages. They were made out of cast iron and needed to be heated up on a stove before they could be used. Later, people came up with irons that were heated by putting hot coals inside. And finally, in the 19th century, a convenient electrical iron was invented and has been used ever since. And the prize for Genius of the Year goes to... Professor Eugenius! Bravo! Bravo, Professor! Dave! Shh! Take 
I thank you. I give my sincerest thanks to you. And may I take this opportunity to send my greetings to Fix? Uh, uh, uh to all the Fix assists. Just give me the prize. Oh, that was quick thinking. Brilliant! He is just astounding. Perfection from head to toe. <gasps> well, practically perfect. <laughs> The spider. Chusaka, Chusaka. Tom Thomas, what are you doing? I'm petting Chusaka. How come? Because huh? it makes her feel good. Just don't rub her fur off. <laughs> You're just jealous, guys, because you don't have any pets of your own. What do you mean? We've got a pet. You who Buggy! Buggy! She was in the vent the last time I saw her. Hmm. Buggy! Come on out. We need to talk. Here, this is our friend, Buggy. Wait, this insect is really your pet? Ha! <laughs> what a joke. Buggy's a spider. She's not an insect at all. But isn't a spider a kind of insect? is the term used for mosquitoes, flies, beetles, dragonflies, butterflies, ants, and many others. Spiders certainly look a lot like insects. They have very similar legs. But spiders aren't insects. They're arachnids. Insects have six legs, while spiders have eight of them. Many insects can fly, but spiders can't. But spiders can do spider webs. They may look beautiful, but really they are traps for hunting insects. How come your buggy has five legs instead of eight of them? I don't know. <laughs> she lost them somehow. Anyhow, she can do lots of tricks. Hello, buggy. How do you do? We know how to do that trick. Chusaka, shake. Just see that? And I bet your buggy can't do this. Chusaka, sit. Buggy, sit. Why aren't you sitting? Lie down. Your turn. Lie down. Watch me. Like this. Lie down. She can't do that trick. Her fifth leg must be in the way. Lie down. Lie down, I told you. What kind of pet are you anyway? You can't even do a simple trick. Hey, where are you going? Wait, Buggy, don't go. Nolik, you should be ashamed of yourself. But why is she acting? So stupid. <gasps> Didn't you say that she was your friend? And what? Well, you shouldn't yell at your friends like that. She's right. What kind of friend are you? I'll go find her. And apologize. Buggy! Do you hear me? having pets to live with them in their homes. Dogs, cats, hamsters, parrots, fish, turtles. Some folks even get crocodiles. And the bigger the animal, the more work it takes to take proper care of it. But every pet needs love and care, no matter what size it is. Fix 
Pixies like to have pets too. All sorts of little bugs, spiders, and flies. Pixies treat them as friends and take care of them. Of course, a little spider isn't as smart as a dog, but they also can be trained. There are some Pixies who have managed to domesticate such big insects as bees, beetles, and dragonflies. Pixies fly on their backs and use them to carry heavy loads. That's it. I'm stuck all alone in here. Forever. S Simka? Oh, how did you find me? Buggy let me down here. Buggy, you didn't ditch me. I'm sorry. I promise I'll never ever yell at you again. Ow, my leg. Hang in there, Nolik. We'll get you out. It was so scary. You could have died down there. Yeah, I almost died. But you know what? Buggy saved me. Yeah, that's cooler than learning how to shake hands. Buggy sure is a true friend indeed. Does your leg really hurt a lot? Ah! <gasps> <laughs> nah, it doesn't really hurt. I'm fine. I was just joking. <laughs> 